first time in Dublin. Uh, uh, the, um, Samsara is uh, the third major nonverbal film I've done with Ron Fricke. The first one was Kronos, and then we did Baraka. And so this is this is another uh, film like that that was uh, shot in 25 countries over a four-year period. Well, I, I guess it, it's uh, it's a good kind of festival film. I think it's a generally these kinds of films are embraced at festival audiences, and uh, it's just a catalyst. Maybe the film will be released in um, September in, in the UK and Ireland. Uh, it's taking place in uh, 17th century Catholic Spain, and it's the story of a Capuchin monk who is admired by all and uh, who thinks that he's flawless and uh, that he is uh, uh, absolutely uh, uh, safe from any temptation. And, well, he will learn for the better because he will be tempted by a woman who, will, who is sent by the devil and this will cause his downfall. So actually it's the story of the downfall of a man who is very high up at the beginning and very, very low uh, at the end. It's my first time in Dublin. I, I like the fact that there is about a pub every 10 meters and, uh, <laughs> and you can see that it's a rugby town and, uh, and I'm a rugby fan and so by the way I want to apologize for the miserable rugby facilities in France and uh. <laughs> It's wonderful to be here. My family's Irish and I was in Roscommon for the first three years of my life so it's a fantastic moment for me to have a movie here. It's been some, a long ambition of ours. We go to the cinema a lot, probably more than the theatre. So we loved the cinema, and this opportunity came up, and we'd, we grabbed it. Well, ironically, we, when it did come up, we had been thinking of it as a theatre project, um, but somebody came to us with an early script, and um, we thought, great, it's wonderful for the cinema. Yeah, it's a great story for our times. It's about a Western government um, supported by a corrupt media invading an Arab country for their mineral wealth, so it's got a lot to do with us. It's also about the triumph of celebrity. It's about somebody who is uh, with very little imagination, very little uh, talent, who gets to the top. But he's got a great life force, and he's wonderfully played by Robert, who plays him brilliantly. And in fact, it occurred to us, we don't really understand how one person can make a movie, because we, we live together, we talk in the car on the way in, and as soon as we'd hit the set, a hundred people would come and ask me questions, a hundred people would go and ask Nick questions, and we'd be completely exhausted by lunchtime, and then we'd regroup. So we were both working flat out all the time, but never paralleling each other. I don't know, I was trying desperately to think of something. I Moonrise Kingdom, Wes Anderson is the only thing I can think of, so... I have no idea whatsoever. Uh, Not a thing. Either The Sound of Music digitally remastered, or um, I was hoping for Iron Sky. Um, I don't know, something with Orlando Bloom in it. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but I, I really don't know. <laughs> I was talking about this with my friend. We said maybe the new Reese Witherspoon movie. I've got a feeling it's going to be Friends with Kids, a new comedy with Kirsten Wig and um, Chris O'Dowd, but I've been wrong before. Pierro la muchacha. Solo te daré una oportunidad. Suelta a la mujer y te dejo vivir. Gael Garcia Bernal, Diego Luna, Genesis Rodriguez, and introducing Will Ferrell. Casa de mi padre, in color. Um, I thought it was quite funny in bits. Uh, not what I was expecting at all, but yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm not surprised the type of film it was. It, it's the, ge the general theme is usually like an indie comedy. It wasn't really indie though, but yeah, I was actually really surprised. I was, oh, yeah, it was funny. It was funny. <laughs> yeah, I loved it actually. Yeah, yeah I really enjoyed it. It was really bizarre, but like, yeah, I, I think it's just like a pet project for him. Totally I, over the top, but yeah. it works. Yeah. Casa de mi padre. The Will Ferrell is a specific kind of comedian, and not everybody likes it. But I did, I did enjoy it. I think it was a good choice for a Sunday evening, and it set up the tones nicely for the next week, which is not to take life too seriously. Yeah.